Black holes are perhaps the most strange and fascinating objects known to exist in the universe. Our understanding of space and time is pushed to its limits by the extreme conditions found in these objects. What are black holes exactly? Let's hear it from Sir Stephen Hawking himself. From the outside, you can't tell what is inside a black hole. You can throw television sets, diamond rings, or even your worst enemies into a black hole, and all the black hole will remember is the total mass, and the angular momentum, and electric charge. Quantum mechanics implies that the whole of space is filled with pairs of virtual particles and antiparticles that are constantly materializing in pairs, and then coming together again and annihilating each other. One member of a pair of virtual particles may fall into the hole, leaving the other member without a partner with which to annihilate. The forsaken particle or antiparticle may fall into the black hole after its partner, but it may also escape to infinity, where it appears to be radiation emitted by the black hole. The message of this lecture is that black holes ain't as black as they are painted. They are not the eternal prisons they were once thought. Things can get out of a black hole, both to the outside, and possibly, to another universe. So, if you feel you are in a black hole, don't give up. There's a way out. Black holes form when the center of a very massive star collapses in upon itself. This collapse also causes a supernova, or an exploding star, that blasts part of the star into space. A black hole isn't actually a hole. If anything, it's the opposite. A black hole is a place in space containing a lot of stuff packed very closely together. It has accumulated so much mass, and therefore gravity, that nothing can escape it, not even light. Before long, you pass a point called the event horizon. Every black hole has one. That's true whether the black hole has the mass of a single star or as much as the collective mass of millions, and sometimes billions, of stars. An event horizon surrounds each black hole like an imaginary sphere. It acts like a boundary of no return. If the black hole is big, at least 1.6 by 108 times the mass of the sun, and rapidly spinning, then it hosts a habitable zone just barely above the event horizon, where the CMB light peaks in the UV part of the spectrum, hot, but not terrible. Black holes are points in space that are so dense they create deep gravity sinks. Beyond a certain region, not even light can escape the powerful tug of a black hole's gravity. And anything that ventures too close, be it star, planet, or spacecraft, will be stretched and compressed like putty in a theoretical process aptly known as spaghettification. Now to the big question, what happens once you go into a black hole and pass the event horizon? The answer is that we don't actually know yet. We are still trying to figure that out. One idea is that black holes form things called wormholes. Astronomers have spent a lot of time trying to describe how wormholes could form and work. We won't know for sure if that is really what happens once you go through a black hole though until we figure out a way to see it happen.
these wormholes act as tunnels between two different parts of the space. This means that you could step into a black hole and end up in a completely different part of our universe. You might even end up in a different universe. Black holes are full of wonder and mystery. They are also somewhat interesting with their characteristics. Still, scientists continuously research these amazing space creatures even though they are invisible. Would you consider to be one of these scientists that research black holes? Or would you consider to go in space and take a risk to get a closer look at black holes? There are many conclusions to everything but there may never be a conclusion to a black hole.